these are two of the most important weeks the Rangers are going to have this year. Are they going to be sellers? Or are they going to be buyers? Chris Young is very, very anxious to make this team just better every day. It doesn't mean he's going to give up, you know, a ton of pieces for the future, but he's always trying to improve this ball club. And on the mound for the Rangers, the 34-year-old right-hander from Alvin, Texas, Nathan Evaldi. Evaldi, 6-3 and three with a 2 9 7 Earn run average. Gunnar Henderson, he settled in nicely here in the DFW area. He's been here all week long, participated in a home run derby on Monday. A flare into shallow left, and that's a base hit. Just out of the reach of Seeger, the shortstop, and Henderson leads off the game with a bloop single. And now Rutschman will bat. He was also 0 for 2 in the game on Tuesday here. Drives that one well. Out to right field, and what a start to the back half of the campaign for Adley Rutschman. Sizzles into the front row, and the Birds have a 2-0 lead. A low-line missile. Garcia barely moved, but it was a wall scraper. Good for Adley. Hadn't had an extra base hit in his last seven games. What a way to get the second half started. Number 17 for Rutschman as Santander bats with still nobody out. Here's a ball that's hit to the right side and moving to his left onto the outfield turf. Simeon is there to catch that very slow liner to get Santander rather for the game's first out. This guy came home too. Ryan O'Hearn lives in the area in the offseason. Strokes it the opposite way. That's the third hit for the Birds here in this first inning. O'Hearn with a big turn trots his way into second. Doubled number 11 on the year for Ryan O'Hearn. Great swing there, just a pitch that's away a little bit. Bounces at third base. Good pick by Smith, the long throw in time. And that's his second out of the inning. Colton Kowser, who really had the tail of two halves in the first half, that sizzling April and that rough May through middle July. And he hits one in the air to right and deep. Garcia is back, he's turning around, and that baby's gone. Colton Kowser. It's a two run homer and it's four to nothing Baltimore. The Orioles second two run homer of the inning. They have jumped all over Nathan Uvalde. Some 420 feet later on that blast by Colton Kowser. Chopper toward third charging in Smith. He'll complete the inning with that put out. Corbin Burns on the same mound where he pitched Tuesday to start for the American League in the All Star game and he has a 4 nothing lead. Marcus had the first hit for the American League in that 5-3 win. His pitch, a line drive, caught it, shortstop by Henderson. And one down. So how's that for a contrast in yeah. starts to the inning? Corey with the average at 270, a team high 18 home runs. Ground ball past the mound. Henderson behind the bag at second. He fields it, slings it to first, and quickly two down. All right, here's Josh Smith. Strike three, got him with a fastball. Smith goes down looking, first punch out for Burns tonight. Who cruises through a 1 2 3 first? A base is empty, two gone, and here is Nathaniel Lowe. Lowe 262 average. That's in the air center field. And that takes Mullins back to the wall. It is gone! Seventh of the year for Nathaniel Lowe, and he has the Rangers on the board. That one was crushed to dead center field, 434 feet. It's home run derby gone. No kidding. Anthony Santander coming to bat in the top of the third. Pitch on the way. Line drive. Base hit. Anthony Santander rips one into right field. He's on board to start the Oriole third. Ryan doubled and scored in the first inning. That one sliced in the air to left center. Langford racing after it on his horse. Reaches up in the alley and makes the catch. Just as he crossed onto the warning track in left center field. Why Langford tracked that one down for the first out of the inning. So here's Jordan Westberg. Hit off the end of the bat to first. Lowe's got it. Spins and throws to second for one. Seeger back to first. Not in time. It was Avaldi covering, stretching out, trying to receive the throw to complete the double play. And the Rangers are not going to review. Bouncer up the middle. Seeger flags it. Throws over a bent over Simeon. And they get Kowser to in the inning. And there are two outs in the bottom of the third with the Rangers trailing 4-1 to one for Marcus Simeon. Two strike pitch and that's lined over third base hit. Simeon with a rifle shot heads for second here comes a throw not in time and for Marcus his 18th double of the year easily makes it in to put himself in scoring position with two outs. Here's Corey Seager he's 0 for 1 with a ground out take in the dirt Simeon 
will advance to second on the or rather third base pardon me on the wild pitch he makes too big of an adjustment on it bounces it in front of home plate and Rushman puts his chest on it not even close he didn't want anything to do with Corey so he walks him Rangers have runners on the corners now and Josh Smith will bat seventh pitch of the at bat and he got him Smith frustrated down on strikes couple left for the Rangers Gunnar Henderson to lead off for the Orioles two for two with a couple of soft singles Gunner ground ball up the middle and that's through into center field for a base hit and Henderson is three for three and that will bring up Rutschman began the second half with a line drive two on homer to right this one is lifted back of third tough spot long run Smith and he makes the catch oh my and the throw very nearly got Henderson. What a play by Josh Smith at third base. Wow. That might be the play of the year defensively for the Texas Rangers. Josh Smith dead sprint right over his shoulder. Almost got the double play. Oh my gosh. Santander out on a soft liner back in the first. Single in the third. So he's one for two. Anthony smokes one to deep right field. That baby is long gone. Way out. Number 25 into the lap of a bird fan. Another two run homer for the Orioles. And they lead this game six to one. A bomb to right field for Santander and two more bird runs. Ryan O'Hearn, the product of Wakeland High School in Frisco. O'Hearn takes strike three. And there's a first strikeout. Yeah. So two men around in the inning, and here's Jordan Westberg. There's a swing and a miss. And Westberg strikes out. Back to back strikeouts for Evaldi in the fifth. Well, Jonathan Hernandez enters the game for the Texas Rangers. 3 6 7 ERA, getting better and better. 3 2 pitch. And he swings and misses at strike three. Hernandez gets the strikeout to begin his evening. And a swing and a miss. Mountcastle strikes out two away. Sinker at 96 miles an hour. The payoff from Hernandez. And he gets Mullins swinging. He strikes out the side in order in the sixth. That's the first out of the inning. Seager moves up to second base. Runner at second for Wyatt Langford. Fly ball right field. Santander charging foul territory slides and makes the catch. What a play by Anthony Santander sliding on the warning track and making the play. Two down. When Anthony Santander goes into the slide and makes the catch on the slide for out number two. Here's Burns' pitch. Check swing. Did Adolis go? He did not. Walk drawn on an elevated fastball. And if Lowe can get a hit, maybe an extra base hit and cut into this deficit, Rangers right back in it. Right side, Mateo dives up with it, throws the first, he got him. Jorge Mateo with a dive comes up throwing and gets Nathan Lowe to end the inning. Two terrific defensive plays in the inning. The diving catch from Santander. And that play by Mateo. Better Henderson with his third career four hit game starting off this push against Hernandez in the seventh inning. The walk to Adelie Rutschman and now Anthony Santander who jolted a two run shot back in the fifth inning. And that's rocketed down the line. Will it stay fair? It sure will. It's a two homer night for Anthony Santander. And he's blown this game open with a three run homer. The Orioles fourth homer of the game. The only question on that one was would it stay fair hooking down the right field line but it had plenty of room to the left of the foul pole. And there are two down here in this ninth. Jonah Heim the batter. Heim backs up Mountcastle. Handles it first. Birch to the bag to finish the ball game. Corbin Burns was outstanding on the hill. And the O's go into the home stretch posting a convincing 9-1 win and take the series opener over the Texas Rangers. They have now won four of five against Texas head to head here this season and here at Globe Life Field they have won eight out of ten.